What's up guys, Jeremy here, All Things Man. Today I wanted to do a quick review of what I think is a great weapon that everybody should add to the arsenal. Not the first weapon, but something you could add down the line. So today we're going to look at the Sig Sauer M400 Enhanced. So this is called the Enhanced uh, just due to the Magpul additions it adds on. So it's got the Magpul MOE hand grips, the Magpul buttstock, uh, Magpul grips here, and the Magpul Mbus pop-up sights. So these these pop-up sights are real nice. Uh, by having the flat top with the pop-up sights, gives you lots of different options for your optics. So I went with the the Aimpoint Pro the Patrol Rifle Optic, and uh, if, as you can see here, if I open up the front and then pop up the back here, it's perfectly in line with the optic so you get your bead you can see straight through the scope to use your uh, to use your uh, iron sights so that's a real nice enhancement that this gun has another thing I don't know if you can see there's not a lot of rattling here SIG puts a tensioner pin in here a spring loaded uh, pin in here that secures the upper receiver to the lower receiver so you don't get that rattle that you get with some other manufacturers and also this is actually um, calibered four five five six not two two three uh, five five six is a hotter round than the two two three so you can potentially damage your uh, rifle if you're shooting trying to shoot five five six in something calibered for two two three but if it is 4556, you can use 223 as well since it's not a hot as uh, round. So that's a nice enhancement. Also, this is ambidextrous uh, fire selector. So if you can see on this side, when I flip it from the normal side, it also has it right here. So lefties and righties can both use it. It's, it is smaller on the right side, but it's still a functional button. And then this is the magazine release that we're all used to on this rifle it also has right here so that's a nice feature uh, features a one in seven um, turn to the barrel so it's well suited for heavier bullets uh, over 68 grains specifically um, that helps out at longer range too so if you're using a heavier round than just the average 55 grain and you want to get out there beyond 100, 200 yards, uh, this will be more suited. And it is the carbine length, so it has a shorter gas system. And this is a direct impingement like the original uh, AR-15s were. So that's uh, nice. The fit and finish of the rifle for being uh, just an off-the-shelf rifle, great. Uh, it feels real good in the hand. And the cool thing about these is they already come with a lot of added features. And for only, I think it's $100 more than just the standard M400 to get all these upgrades. You can't buy all these pieces for $100. So you might as well go ahead and get it here ahead of time. You have a fully... Uh, functioning weapon so if you want to start uh, doing some work adding things yourself uh, in the future you can you can start changing out things uh, some people change out the trigger but to me this is a very nice trigger as it is uh, it's rated at I think seven and a half pounds don't quote me on that I'm not the, the spec guy but I just wanted to kind of show it out. So we'll take it out to the range and uh, shoot a few rounds and see what you guys think. Alright, we're back with the M400 from the range. I think you can see, very nice shooting gun. Had no misfires. Uh, just a, a great rifle in my opinion. I'll be doing a series coming up on the 
top five rifles I think anybody should have in their collection. Um, a little spoiler, this is not in the top three. It might not even be in the top five. So we'll go through my list in a later video and I'll give you my reasoning behind why I have each weapon in its particular spot and why this falls where it does. But if you're looking for an M4, I definitely recommend the uh, Sig Sauer M400 in the Enhanced Edition. There's some other uh, little features that uh, you'll kind of find that are real cool about this. Supposedly the angle of ejection I've read is different to, uh, to help with less uh, brass flying uh, or to help the direction the brass is flying. I haven't really noticed much of a difference there. But I do know the gun just feels real nice, and it is some cool features just having the ambidextrous uh, fire selector and the magazine release. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video and think about subscribing to the channel. Thanks a lot.